Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for a hot minute now, but I'm back with a highly requested video. I dropped a picture with me with no makeup on like a week ago. It's gonna be right here. Boom. And I just was flooded with a lot of messages about skincare and what do I use to achieve that look. So we're gonna do like a two part video thing. So this video is gonna be about me, my skin type, my regimen, why I use what I use. And then the next video is gonna be on other skin types and solutions to figure out what you're doing and how breakouts happen and what not. I just wanna make a claim that I am not a dermatologist. Um, I know surface skin problems. If it's deeper than rap, um, you need to go to a professional, like I'm makeup and surface wise. I just want you guys to make sure that uh, you do your research. What may work for me may not work for you. So just making sure you know what works for your skin as far as, you know, what feels good to you and what could work with you just by doing that. And um, let's just get into it. So I'm just gonna start off what I use to like take off my makeup. Uh, I use Max Gently Off Whites. Um, I believe these are like $25. It has 100 wipes in there. Um, I just kind of take like some of my makeup off with it. I usually don't take my eye makeup off with it because it pulls and tugs and that's how you get wrinkles and discoloration. Um, yeah, they're pretty nice. They're pretty soapy and pretty thick. So I like these versus the Neutrogena ones. Uh, the Neutrogena ones are kind of just strong and scent and they make my eyes water and my eyes will literally water until the next day and I can't do my makeup. Um, but Neutrogena ones are good. They're just a little too much for me in my eyes. Then um, I use a cleanse off oil to break down the rest of my makeup. Any oil in general, like coconut oil, any type of oil you can find to kind of just break down um, product. It will help break down everything because sometimes like the wipe isn't enough. Sometimes even like washing your face isn't enough. Oil helps like break down the molecules and makes the makeup its bitch and just gets everything out of there. I'm gonna go into like face washes and what I use. This is my favorite one right now. This is what I've been using for the past couple months. Be or baking soda pore cleanser. It's very gentle. It's not super like crazy as an exfoliator, which for my skin type sensitive, some stuff like exfoliating, anything with like deep cleansing kind of scares me because it is too powerful on my face and it leaves me super dry or it leaves me like super red and irritated. So this guy is super nice on my face. It cleans really good and it gets into my pores. I also uh, use Hydro Boost by Neutrogena Exfoliating Cleanser. Again, it's an exfoliator, but it has a hydrating property in it. So like, again, it does, it's not too much for my face. So I like that. I also get like pigmentation from breakouts. So when I do actually get like acne breakouts, which is far and few, uh, they like to leave scars, no matter if I pop it or not, it's leaving a scar regardless. I will either use like Aveeno Positively Brightening Radiant Brightening Cleanser. I've been using this for a while. This is like my day one. Yeah, it actually does do brightening and it's not too much for the skin. It leaves your face leaving clean. I, I like my face regimen, like when I wash my face, I usually do this first and I go in with this second. I wash my face twice. I don't know. I just like the feel of it because I'm crazy. I use Marine Bright Formula from Delightful C line at MAC. This was like a really game changer because it's bright. It's a brightening formula and it actually does brighten, like brighten your skin. Once you wash your face and you get out the shower, your face is like radiant and it's already bright. This guy, this is legit. For anyone who has pigmentation or just like dark, like unevenness, this is like a really good product to use. Like it actually works. If you use it for like a few weeks and really incorporate it into your skincare, it actually makes a difference. And then I use this little guy, and this is why I have this as a little guy. Um, green gel cleanser. This is good for like oily skin. I get oily sometimes, it's very rare and few. Usually when I'm having like problems with my gallbladder or digestive system, I get really, really oily and then I'll use this to help balance it out. I'm gonna move on to moisturizer. So I'm just gonna go in with comfort cream. Um, complete comfort cream. I was put on to this from one of my MAC trainers. Um, this is for like sensitive skin and like redness, dry skin. It's a thick cream, so I put it on at night. But it has seaweed extract, it calms your skin. This is like a game changer, especially for this time of year. I'm from Minnesota, so some of you guys that are watching this may be from Minnesota or not, or from a cold region. You know, if you live in a cold region, you get really chafy, even if you're an oily person or not. This is just good to combat that type of weather. 
So I really like this product. I also use Tarte Drink of H2O. I seen <laughs> Dizzy Perkins. I seen her use it and it's like a hydrating boost. It's like a gel formula. I put it on in the day because it absorbs in my skin right away and I can wear my makeup on top of it. Um, I think this probably would be good for most skin types just because it's a gel formula and it absorbs really well. Even if you are oily, you still need hydration. You still need to be moisturizing and using oils and stuff like that. It's just being able to balance it out. So yeah, this guy is really nice. I think it's like $42, but it's worth it. This is Origins Make a Difference Night Skin Rejuvenating Gel Cream. This is just my night cream. This is for people who are starting to kind of get old. That's kind of rude to say that, but whatever. Wrinkles or whatever. Just because the word rejuvenating is in it. This is a night cream just to kind of reset my skin. It's a gel formula as well. And I use it every night. It's all right. I like it. Um, I don't really do much into night creams. I just need something for a nighttime regimen just because I do so much to my skin because I'm always wearing makeup. A strobe cream. This is what caused the glow in that picture. Everybody was like, whoa, that glow is something serious. Strobe cream by MAC. This is like a throwback for them. I know Kim Kardashian uses it, Desi Perkins uses it. A lot of people in the game with like nice skin, JLo, all of them use products like this just to create that dewiness and glow look. You can mix it with your foundations and whatnot. Use it as a primer, anything along the lines of that just to create a glowy look. I like to wear it by itself sometimes. And people are like, yo, what's that on your face? I'm like, strobe cream. Um, they have different like pigments. So they have like red, peach, pink, silver, gold, and then they have regular strobe cream. This is $33, but it's really nice to have, especially if you want to rock that like natural glowy girl look. This is pretty lit. So um, I also incorporate oils into my skincare just because, I, like I said, I'm super dry. Like this is hair desert on my face. Camels can live on it. That's just that. So I also incorporate oils into my skincare um, just because I'm dry and I need the extra moisture. Uh, I was using this for my hair, my scalp and whatnot, and I was reading it and I'm like scared and I was like, hmm, let me try to put this on my face. And tea tree oil, I've heard like some horror stories about it. Like I've heard it actually helping people and like really like spot treating like acne breakouts, but I also heard of it like very strong like lines of tea tree oil, like burning people's skin. So I was like, I'm not gonna try this out. So I like put a drop on and like pat it like into my face. And I woke up the next morning and my skin was so popping. And I was like, let me try it again. I've been using it for like two weeks now and it's really been like making my skin very like moisturized. But it also, I was like, let me prevent breakouts. Cause I've been in breakouts lately cause I'm stressed out. I also use uh, Prep and Prime essential oils. You know, Kendall says if it's in a dropper, it's expensive, but it's not that expensive. I just use it as a priming oil. I use it mixed with my foundations to kind of break down foundations so they're not so full coverage and it just gives me a little extra moisture so yeah those are all i use for oils i don't really get into it because i ain't trying to be that slick but whatever oh my god eye creams so i only use two different ones i use the ginseng um origins ginseng refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff I use this at night just because it has like a peach undertone into it. It does get rid of like the discoloration under my eyes because I have really dark like dark spots under my eyes. But um, I use it at night just because it has a peach touch to it. I don't want it mixing with like my concealer and stuff the next day. Then we have a problem with makeup. So that's my night one. And then Fast Response Eye Cream. It is by MAC. The reason why it's called Fast Response because it works within like 20 to 30 minutes. It depuffs your eyes right away. I wake up with really swollen eyes and like really swollen under eyes. So I have like bags. And yeah, this works really quick. It has caffeine in it. So it kind of just helps everything level out. Um, toners. Um, I just got put onto toners today. Usually people with oily skin, you should be using a toner. It helps balance out that. People who have acne prone skin should also be using toner as well. Um, people who have dry and sensitive skin, we may shy away from it because we think it's probably harsh and it's probably going to dry out our skin because that's what we hear about it. That's for sure what I've heard about it. But today I picked up the Mario Badescu Skincare Aloe Vera Toner. Um, I heard that when you put toner on, it like helps extract like everything in your pores. So when you're doing your toner, when you're cleaning your face, it helps pulls out everything so leftover makeup impurities all that and to me that was like sounds like we're gonna be squeaky clean so I was like I need to get on this toner wave 
So I'm just gonna let you guys know in a couple weeks how I like it. Also, like the aloe vera is calming and it helps with the sensitive part of skin. What I was kind of using for like a toner or like a toner replacement, which may not be um, a thing. It's like my Fix Plus and my Charge Water. I know for the Charge Water Charcoal Spray, it's like an antioxidant type thing. So it does pull out the impurities in your skin. This is for sensitive and acne prone skin. So if you do have acne prone skin, you can like reset your makeup and like add hydration and everything with this guy. This helps detox everything. And then regular Fix Plus to add hydration because that's what that's for. I also use a probiotic just because I heard probiotics help with your skincare and breakouts. Usually if your body holds toxins, putting good bacteria will help flush out the bad bacteria and toxins in your body. So. I take a pill every day with that. I use a lot of face masks, so I'm just gonna show you my young collection. I buy a lot of Freemans because I believe these are like $5 and you can get them at Ulta for like little deals and whatnot. I just buy them all for like skin problems that I know I face. So I bought like clearing and purifying for like when I have breakouts. So when I do get breakouts, they don't necessarily hit the surface. They just sit under my skin. So these two, like the clearing and the purifying one, helps pull that out. And so does the MAC Mineralized Reset and Charcoal one. Those help pull everything out. And then once everything comes out, I like to like basically reset my face with like a revitalizing or like a renewing one. Or I do sheet masks. You can do sheet masks every day. I usually go for hydrating and brightening ones. I don't have any on me right now just because I've been having actual real breakouts. So I've been having to like really tailor myself to these guys you can kind of just go into Ulta or wherever they sell them and just kind of look for something that ta like is tailoring to your skin so if you need hydrating like you just grab the hydrating one or if you need like a detox one you'll grab the detox one and so on and so forth and making sure you drink water um and clearing your system out that way always making sure to take your makeup off um just like i said i have sensitive and dry skin so just looking for anything very hydrating, anything calming that usually helps with that. I'm gonna list down everything in the description box, what I use and a link to get it. And I'm also gonna list it as we go on and go forth. And then the next video will be on skin types and solutions. So thanks for tuning in to my video. I'll be back with this part two. Um, make sure you subscribe, like, and turn on your notifications. Leave comments, any questions you may have, you know, I'm always down to reply and hit you guys back up. Um, any other video requests that you wanna see, I'm always down for that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Boom.